The question that is being raised, was India not serious about extraditing the 2611 plotter David Coleman Headley? Latest WikiLeaks cables reveal that the former National Security Advisor had informed America that they were only posturing on Headley's extradition as it was difficult not to be seen making the effort. Let's go across to Nikunj now with more on this. Nikunj. Well, yes, Deep, you uh, certainly raise certain questions, but uh, none of them I have spoken to, uh, I've been trying to talk to top government officials since morning, and uh, though there is no clear cut picture emerging because they are saying these are Mr. Narayanan's individual works and he should be only uh, asked about these questions as to what was his exact precise communication to uh, the then U.S. Ambassador Timothy Romer. But nonetheless, uh, Government of India is saying that in their own uh, effort of extraditing uh, Dave Coleman Headley to, in, to India and um, to make sure that he faces a judicial criminal process in India in front of a court of law would never lag behind. So that's the official line. And they are saying that Mr. Narayanan would have told uh, all these words that are being now attributed to him by Mr. Romer in a particular context. And one doesn't even know, the government of India is saying that one doesn't even know whether he used those particular words to Mr. Timothy Romer that were actually used while sending a cable back to the United States by uh, the then U.S. ambassador. So they are saying that there are a lot of ifs and buts, but nonetheless, uh, the National Investigative Agency, which has been entrusted with the job of filing a charge sheet, and interestingly enough, Deep, uh, just three days ago, uh, the Union Home Minister himself said that they would be filing a charge sheet very, very shortly in the entire matter. And uh, that is why... Absolutely. Uh, that is why they are saying that their efforts to bring mm -hmm. Dave Coleman Headley, and at least, at least the fact that he should face okay. the judicial criminal process in India, would always remain intact.